Hello everyone, this is Waterfall Joe and welcome back to another video. This is an exciting new video. Today we're doing backyard star trails. I'm going to try to keep it down, it's kind of late at night here, but I'm in my backyard here in Connecticut. We have my OM1 Mark II with the 12 to 40 f2.8 setup and I'm going to show you how to do star trails in camera without any editing required. Let's get on the screen and show you what you need. Of course, let's talk about the basics first. You're going to need a nice steady sturdy tripod. You're going to need a camera. You're going to need a lens, preferably an OM system camera that has the live composite mode built in. Now, if you aren't using an OM system camera and you're just here to learn how to do star trails, I will kind of describe the technique as well. However, the technique I want to be talking about is OM system cameras can actually do it in camera, which makes it a lot easier overall. So I am using my OM system OM1 Mark II and the 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro. Now, for star trails we're actually going to be going into live composite mode but before i do that i always like to take a test photo here so down here you can see my camera settings we have it set to 30 seconds f 2.8 and iso 800. now if you were to be doing milky way you would not want to be at 30 seconds you would actually get star trails if you follow the 500 rule now but for star trails we actually don't care about star trails because we want star trails so 30 seconds is going to be plenty ISO 800 at f2.8, we're going to be utilizing the camera Starry Sky Autofocus Mode. Now what we're going to do is this is going to, I'm going to hold the autofocus button, it's going to search, and I'll see you guys in 30 seconds for the final result. Okay, so here's our final result. We're actually getting star trails already, even after just 30 seconds, which is excellent. I don't live too far from an airport, so unfortunately we're going to get a ton of airplane trails in here. Um, you know, I'm not doing this professionally, this is just for fun, so I'm not too concerned about that. But yeah, the starry sky autofocus is awesome, you don't have to manually focus it or anything. Okay, so now that we've taken a test shot, we're pretty happy with our settings. We're actually going to flip the camera to B for bulb, and you see right here it says live composite. So the first thing you want to do when you go to live composite is you want to press menu, and you want to pick an appropriate shutter speed. So we're actually going to go to 30 seconds here. Well, there's a lot of information here. We're not too worried about most of it. We just care about composite settings, 30 seconds. It'll tell us after three hours it'll stop, but we're not going that long anyways. Before we shoot, I want to press OK, and I want to go and change a few things in here. The first thing I want to turn is my image stabilizer. Now, all of system cameras have some of the best stabilizer out there, but if we're going to be doing 45 minutes, we do want to turn this off. Everything else in here looks good. Uh, we have it set to raw and other than that i think we're good to go one other thing i like to do is if you have a neck strap on i recommend taking it off because if it's windy it's actually going to blow your camera around a little bit so i'm going to take my neck strap off let's do one more shot just to verify everything now it's set to 30 seconds this is just our basic shot so live composite actually takes one photo at a base exposure and then from there it only adds new light to the image so aka the stars as they turn which is really cool about live composite it allows you to shoot essentially as much as you want and it won't overexpose anything that's already in the image okay so here's our base exposure it looks good and now i think we're ready to make it happen after you take your base exposure you'll see it's ready for composite shooting now one of the coolest things about om system cameras is any other camera when you do star trails you have to take 100 200 300 photos and stack them yourself using like photoshop or, or star stacks and an om system camera such as the om1 mark ii using live composite we can actually start the shooting oh and it's going to run the starry sky just to double check one more time and it's actually going to stack the photos on the screen as we take the image and you can see up here in the corner it says 30 seconds time zero and I'm actually going to set my phone to do a 45 minute exposure or 45 minute self timer here. So I'm actually gonna set my 45 minute timer. We'll be back at 11.06. And once again, this is only capturing new light. So it's, already, it's only gonna capture the stars as they move. And I'm gonna leave the camera here for you guys. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and you're actually going to be able to see the star trails as they form on the screen, which is gonna be so cool. But you're actually gonna watch the star trails form as they go. So 
Hope you guys enjoy this part. I'm gonna add some music and make it all pretty and you guys are gonna be able to watch it as it happens. So there's our finished product. I can actually take this onto my computer and it's already done. I don't have to stack it, it's all stacked already. All right, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I brought my dog outside to get some his nighttime potty before we go back in. But I'm gonna go edit the photo, put it on the screen for you guys to enjoy. Once again, that was about 40 minutes using live composite on the OM1 Mark II. And it's so cool because it actually stacked all of those pictures together in that photo so so it was really cool you know i don't have to do any stacking on my computer or anything i don't have 200 photos that i have to stack individually it was all done in camera so really cool um, if you haven't done it before i highly recommend checking that out um, i'm going to wrap up the video here this is waterfall joe thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye